talk to the people. For those who don't know what's going on behind the scene, it's Sirius XM. Tell the people who you are and what you do, sir. I'm Ron Mills, by the way. My um, title, some might say here, I'm just basically a lead programmer at Shade 45, which is Eminem's uncut, uncensored radio station here at Sirius XM. I'm also the program director of um, Sirius XM Fly, which is a hip-hop and R&B 90s and 2000s station. So you know, that's the basics of it. You know, I work with a lot of great people. Right. So you see a lot of things come through and a lot yeah. of talent Many come years. through. Many years. Yes. Many years. Many years in. Let me ask you, when you very first got started, yes. did you ever think there was any one specific moment that, okay, you know what? I, I'm where I'm supposed to be. And what was that? Like, what let you know you were on the right path? Because we got a lot of people out here who are doing podcasts. A lot of people out mm -hmm. here who are trying to get famous for being on-air talents of some type. Mm -hmm. But maybe the on-air talent isn't for them. What made you know behind the scenes that was the move for you? And you were right where you were supposed to be. Well, I've never been a person like that that spoke on the air. So I, my whole thing was always preparation and getting the shows together. So my whole thing was the technical side of it. The whole, that whole aspect of the producer's uh, lane, which is getting, you know, whatever where it could be prep, ready for an interviewer, or if we have an idea for an artist to create some magic on the air, how will we do it? How will we get it together? So, you know, we've had, you know, instances where we had, um, for instance, Jay-Z, it's coming out with the American Gangster album, which okay. was a great project. And, um, you know, we decided let's give him the whole entire radio station for the whole entire week of, you know, leading to that album. So, you know, we created a whole entire chain of shows for him, countdowns, like the live a live show we captured at Ch the House of Blues, I believe, in Chicago. He did. Brung, he brought out the whole rock team. And, you know, just leading to that, I was like, you know what? This is what I like. So speaking of that, you know, we um, we produced the whole thing. We aired it. Spectacular. A lot of press. We went back and we did it with Nas. We did it with 3-6 Mafia. We did it with David Banner. Mm -hmm. So we continued on the avenue of trying to create this type of different radio. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think at that point I was already like, wow. Look, I'm not, you know, everybody likes to start you know, the starting part of being on the on the air and talking and doing the interviews. I'm never about that. I'm like, I like to create the magic around it so we sell it the right way. Right. You know, Macy's, Macy's has all the clothes in the world, but how do they bring the people to it? Got so you. that was like my, I think that was my point I, when I said, you know what, I like this side. Let me put the plan together. And Just pick the enforcers. Right. No, there's you know? no there's something to definitely be said for that because yeah. without those creatives yeah, on yeah. that side of things, yeah, yeah, people yeah. in front of the camera are just standing there you looking the like directors. what do I say? You need directors for the perfect movie. hundred percent. So that's what I that's what I like. Okay. I'm not the actor. Nice. You know? So what is the thing that when you put your two feet on the floor in the morning, what's mm -hmm. the thing that makes you excited to get up to come to work? I'm a hip hop head. Nice. So, you know, I always love to hear a great song. I love to see it. I love to see the um the creation of a star. So I love to see who today is gonna be that star. Was I a part of making that person that star? Nice. So or how can I work on making that person a star? Nice. So, you know, that's and plus, you know, I have a big a major love for this music. Whether it be hip hop or R and B. So, you know, that's what I wake up and I say, you know, I work in radio. I have the position, the latitude to create stars, so I got to go find that perfect record. So nice. that's my job. Okay, so now speaking of perfect record, you know, obviously I get hit up by people all the time who have the perfect record and who yeah. want to let me hear it. How do you go about finding, you know, because I know you have a lot to do with what's in rotation around here. Right. How do you go about finding something? What is that feeling that you get that you know, oh yeah, this is this is this is the one. This is the one we gotta well, lead with, guys. You know, being that I work with a lot of DJs. Sure. You know, I work with a lot of personalities as well. So, you know, communication, I talk to a lot of people because, you know, a hit could be not something that's always in the club either. 
Exactly. So, you know, okay, so now this record is hot. Why is it hot? Well, the producer could be great. You know, the producer, the, 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 the rapper, the MC, you know, bars are important to me. You got to be talking something. Right. You know, so like, it has to be memorable. It's got to be something that you you find yourself later on in the day. Still going Rewinding over. that lyric. So, you know, now it's catchy. Now it's something. Is it a hook? Could it be that? Nowadays, th- not, I think that that's the, the lead for everyone nowadays. It's like the perfect hook. The beat is, is what it is. The MC doesn't matter. So th- I'm not that person. I like I like it has to be something that stays with me. Right. You know, as far as my opinion, again, my opinion doesn't is not the majority, <laughs> but you know, it's got the importance of a lyric to me is that and the combination of a perfect beat, I think. 100%. You know? So 100%. It, those are all little pieces that lead to the puzzle being complete. So let me ask you this then. That being said, yeah. if somebody comes up to you like I got the song, it's the perfect hook, the mm-hmm. lyrics are dope. Blah, blah, sounds just like rapper fill in the blank. Is this something that's going to move you? No. Or is it going to be about, oh, he's original, he doesn't sound like anybody? Or if you're already comparing like it, else. you're already lost. Speak on you're it. You're already lost if you're comparing it. Like, really, it has to be unique to you. Why is it? I need to find out who you are. Why is it hot? If you're telling me, oh, it sounds like Jay-Z's this and this, why? Did, you go, in, did you go into the studio thinking that? And you wanted to make, oh, I need to make a radio record. See, that's the wrong thought. Right. Make your record a radio record. You know what I mean? Radio doesn't say, oh, I need a radio record today. Right. We're not thinking in that way. I'm thinking about a great record. Now, if you're going into the studio already with that mindset, you're in the wrong direction already. If you're, if you're trying to compare, like, if you're from New York or you're from Atlanta or Florida, if you're, oh, I need to make a West Coast record, a Dre record. Like, who says that? Like, I don't, <laughs> like you know, to me, if that conversation's already... Lost. Right. Because I'm not going to pay attention. Right. Okay. So, and the know. last question is going to be an easier one, I hope. Sit down. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> what was the last song that you heard that blew your mind? Oof. Wow. That's a difficult one. Like, soon as you heard it, you were like, yo, who, what, when, where, why? Well, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. That's that's a very tough one because there's been a couple. Mm-hmm. But the one that really, 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 really touched me was it's an old record, though. That's all right. Was a Prodigy record. A nice. Rock Deep, that you can never feel my pain record. Sir. Amazing. That from top to bottom lyrics, he, t- he, he got personal with, right. with the world. Right. He went into his personal, you know, issues. Stuff. And he kind of opened up to the world that this is why I'm this and this and this. The beat was incredible. They used the same sample for inc- um, the the Rick Ross record that Just Justice League did mm-hmm. with that same sample. But you know, Rick Ross at the moment was at the top of his game, so I guess the the, the creation of that record blew up more than the Prodigy one. Right. You know, so you know, shouts to P man. You know, he's not just because I'm from Queens and he's from Queens. You know, <laughs> I'll never take it there. But that record, that record just stopped me. Like, I rewinded that record, I swear to God, like 50 times. Like, just bar for bar. I was like, woof. Shout out to Rick Rude. I think Rick Rude was also the producer of that record. Nice. Rick Rude. Shout out to him. You know, that's that's another homie. But that record was special. Nice. Very special. All right. Well, I'm, you know what? Not a hit. Note that. Not a hit. Just a special record. 